and welcome everyone to Whole Soul School and Foundations Mind, Body, Spirit podcast series. I'm Marie Moeller and I'm an author and an intuitive and a messenger of the Awakening Heroic Souls journey. And I'm here today with Renee Tainter, who writes for Whole Soul School and Foundation. She's starting a new series called Thought Bites. We just started that this past month. Shorter messages, but with like a big, beautiful, inspirational, like power packed awareness that people who read your words and take in the insights that you're sharing. I think it's just, it's these thought bites can be life changing. That's all we need is little doses to redirect our energy and our attention and where we're putting our focus because where our energy flows, right? Creation grows. Like that's what happens where our energy goes. That's what's manifesting. And so you so brilliantly have been writing for us for whole soul school and foundation for some time. I would invite our listeners to go to our website. Cause that's where you can see Renee's writings and we want to expand on some of those thought bites into what we are calling, Renee had this idea of little podcast bites, or let's even just call them pod bites, right? Just little thought bites, pod bites for people to tune into just a short message that you can play if you want some upliftment in your day, maybe the invitation to see your life to see people around you, to see the world as so much change is happening through slightly different lenses, right? Than maybe you did before, or maybe you did yesterday. We want to invite people into this higher awareness. And your most recent post, Renee, the question that you posed really was, what do you see in humanity, right? And that really calls into question or for some self-reflection, how do we look at humanity? And I want to ask you to expand a little bit more about that. But in what you were writing, you reflected on the movie character Pollyanna. And it's a movie we were both trying to remember when it was actually made. It looks, I found at least that there was a film made in 1960, Pollyanna but that the main character, and why don't you take this, Renee, the main character teaches us. Yeah. I was really young when I saw it. I was really impacted by that. So Pollyanna is a young girl who, uh, she just automatically looks for the good in people. And I think she started that when she got a necklace from her parents who, you know, were, were deceased. And that's why she ended up going to live with Aunt Polly. So, and they called her Pollyanna. But the necklace said on one side, it said, if you look for the good in people, you'll find it. On the other side of the necklace, it said, if you look for the bad in people, you'll find it. Well, that really had an impact on me. And I didn't realize, but I was, you know, looking for how I was looking at people. Right. And it, you know, and now we can say as adults and stuff that when you do look for the good in people, you kind of bring that out in them because there's no judgment and there's no, and you're seeing the good and then you feel good and they feel good. And so it's, it's about how you go through your daily life and the people that you meet in the post office, in the market, in the parking lot, at the DMV, you know, Right. I mean, exactly. It's in everyday experiences. We have like a bajillion opportunities to either look for the bad in people. And what do we engage when we're doing that? We're engaging the mind, right? And the mind judges, right? The mind either wants to accept, allow, embrace. That's really the heart, actually. But the, the mind is trying to decide, do I kick this out? Do I judge it? Do I allow it in? Like it's going through this process as its gears are ticking. And, you know, there, there are, there's a choice point. There's a point of choice, right? A fork in the road, right? Am I going to look for the good in this person? Or am I going to look for or the bad in this person? And most people don't do this consciously. We already are. We grow up in a world that teaches us how to make these kinds of judgments, right? We learn by copying people 
we learn by, oh, well, if my mom was always upset like this, then you know, maybe you never heard why, but it's kind of an automatic response. So it when you start looking for the good in people, you you realize that it changes your perception and your uh, your readiness to look for the good in someone. And you and then you know you may not know the difference between responding from reacting from your mind or responding from your heart. But your heart really is that place where you're gonna see the good in people, you know. And and so when you're reacting, lens, it's a whole different lens, isn't it? The heart that yes, the ability to see the good in people. And and I think it's important to know that uh, why it's such a easier way to live to look for the good in people than look for the bad in people is because most of the time you're not with a person in the post office more than a couple minutes or in line at the supermarket. And if you're just um, going, oh, wow, that's really a cute shirt. I mean, blah, blah, or whatever. You start these conversations and you're, you're looking for something. I mean, it's, you don't, after a while, you don't really have to look, you just see it. Because I think once you start, <laughs> start this pattern like Pollyanna did in the movie. Right. It, it didn't matter what she heard about a person. Right. She, she, she just found a way by kind of sitting with that person or being present with them and realized she, it, she called it the glad game. Oh, right? that's right. Remember the glad game where I'm it, glad it, this it, happened because right. I had forgotten about that Marie. And so then, that's looking for the good in the situation. Like when she broke her leg in the right. movie. Exactly. This happened because, and I can't remember what she said, but um, it's- right? She was teaching people, even then seeding this awareness that our perceptions are so powerful. We are powerful. Like our ability to create through our perceptions is incredibly powerful. And that's when we can, if we extend what you're talking about, looking for the good in people or looking for the bad in people, we can create goodness, like you were talking about in what you wrote. Like if we release these judgments and we continue to invite our hearts to lead, to see the good in people and play the glad game the way Pollyanna does throughout that film. And it's so beautifully done. You know, she moves into this town orphaned. Her parents had passed and lives with her aunt Polly, right? And and she, she does everything that's unfortunate and people are all complaining about this or bickering about this and she just flits about and it's just like well what's really good is I like this and they were like they didn't want somebody to spoil their bad mood in the movie they even got irritated with her like oh Pollyanna you know why do you always have to look for the you know everything to be so good all the time but you know what she just kept being herself she just kept when something unfortunate was happening, she would find something that was good. And she became a force for good in that town. That's but what just happened. By being, just by being her natural self, not like she could even articulate what she was doing. No. But I find what's helpful is if you keep in your mind that when you come in contact with somebody, this is where you are in your movie, your life. That's where they are. What, what else do you need to know? You, and, and you're going to see the bad in them and you don't even know their life. You know, you, you, you know, we need to look at um, not a them versus us, but a us. Hmm. Kind a, of we. a we, because we are in a sea of humanity and you can't get away from it. You, you just, you can't. I mean, maybe if you were living on top of a mountain, you still have to come down and get your groceries and stuff. <laughs> Right. So uh, I I used to say that you know you could have all the talents in the world, but if you can't navigate through humanity, mm. you're kind of in trouble. No matter how talented you are or your gifts, I feel like that one of the best things you could do is learn how to navigate through humanity in a loving, kind way. But you've got to navigate in yourself before you can 
do that. Look and see where those judgments come from and why. And is it important? You know, I used to work with a lady. She was just incredible, um, Jane. And uh, she, someone would go, well, she's such a, and you know, call her out or gossip about her. And Jane would always say stuff like, you never know what's happening in her life. Mm. Maybe her mom just died of cancer. Maybe she found something out about her own health. Maybe there's a million things. So mm. we're in the sea of humanity and everybody's going through stuff. And so I think that if you can look for the good in humanity and realize they are your family. And I know in one of the uh, sentences I put in that blog was, um, we'd be in a, in a bad way if God didn't see the good in us. Really? You know, so if God sees the good in us. <laughs> right. And you know what this is, what we're talking about, what we, this Pollyanna energy, the glad game awareness that we're talking about today and, and being paying attention to how we're seeing, being an observer of our, experience of our world and and when our judgments come up we don't have to judge the judgments that come up in us we can witness the judgments start to come up and, and looking at somebody and judging them in line or feel like they you know somebody in traffic cut us off and have all kinds of judgments and you know you can in that moment say oh you know this is what pollyanna so simple would do and like oh oh you see them cutting in front of you and you might say I'm so glad that that um, maybe them getting in front of me in this way made me just pause for a moment so that I could practice the glad game. Like she would find something to appreciate the interruption, the unexpected, the the discomfort, something uncomfortable, whatever it is, she would find a way. And it's a vibrational habit. That's what I would say. These are habits we're talking right. about. How we see is a habit. And it's been conditioned into us from the moment we arrived here. But the beautiful thing about what we're talking about, when you do start to, I would say, when you do start to play in your life in this way, we can all be a little bit Pollyanna. And Pollyanna has been used to be a derogatory term, I think, even. Wouldn't you say? People say, oh, don't be so Pollyanna. Well, I, I never heard that in the, the a negative but uh lately if i bring that up people go who's pollyanna so that's been a few years right you know, uh, uh, i always thought of it as a person that was always trying to get along and try to trying to do the right thing but even yeah. in the film though you can see when she's in her, when she embodies that energy of the glad game and looking for the good in people in the very beginning of the film people i invite people to go watch it right to to, to get it and watch it they are irritated because her higher energy, her higher vibration, if you will, it interferes. It's uncomfortable. It's, it's interfering with their sour mood. Right. Makes them uncomfortable. It makes them uncomfortable. Right. And so, but, but this is the invitation for us. We even get to see our own sourness sometimes because that's what judgment is. It's kind of a lower energy. And if we're noticing that we're falling into that habit, like the next time somebody goes to the post office, everybody has to live our daily lives. We do have to interact with the people in our community. We go out and about. And it's just interesting to start to pay attention, observe, how am I bringing me to this situation? And like you said, Renee, I know you live this way. When you go to the store, you bop in there and you're in line with people and you're like, I love your earrings, right? You'll pop in there and you will bring this smile to people's day. It's just amazing how you can touch a life when you are looking for the good and you're looking, I think you also said this in another podcast one time, something else to talk about but looking to connect with people when be you're the first one to connect, be the first one to be connect, the first one to connect. But I also see that, you know, you, your intention to, to be part of the solution instead of part of the problem. And that, and then Pollyanna, like she was so young, didn't even realize, but it was a first nature for her to to look for the good in people and i i also want to say that you have to look for the good in you because yes. 
Most of the time we look for the bad in us and we find it and then we focus on it. And then that's when you start reacting to yourself and doing the judgment to yourself. I think it's real important to, to have, to know that, you know, you were made in God's image and you, you are a divine human being and beautiful. Yes, we have human characteristics, you know, welcome to the human race. I mean, a lot of people apologize for being human. Oops, I didn't mean to drop that glass. Of course you didn't, but are you gonna beat yourself up? Now, maybe it was your friend's glass, but mm. life happens. You know, when we're kinder to ourselves and we're more compassionate and we witness the judgment that may want to pop up and take over our thoughts, right? And how we feel, Right. It, it's a new habit. All you have to do is be willing to start the new habit where you drop the glass. I had a whole escapade with myself. I was telling Renee before I got on camera, I had a whole glass of like greens, you know, stirred up in a glass and it was really green, I can assure people. And I turned and I was doing something maybe for one of my animals. And when I turned, I tilted my glass oops. and the contents, oops, went out on like a cream area rug. And I was like, <laughs> right. And all I could do was like, wow, that happened. And, and then you just say, you know what? This is going to invite me to be more conscious in my day. And in the glad game way, I kind of felt like, you know, it gives me an opportunity to wash that rug, which I've actually needed to do anyway. So thank you, Greens, you know, gracing my rug today. Right. Well, I think that, you know, to maybe cap this off is the big thing is accept your humanity. Mm. Accept mine you know you're not the lone ranger everybody's experienced stuff feeling silly feeling stupid feeling whatever accept your humanity accept mine accept everybody's and that's a there it is renee accept your thing. humanity accept their divinity that's another step right First, that's accepting another step their humanity another day for another, another day right but so, then I do believe when we when we find these new vibrational habits to look for the good in ourselves, we practice here first, it gets easier. And it is it can be a conscious intention. I am going to look for the good in like the next two people that I see today. It's just a little process, but you start a new habit and you will be amazed at what you do ultimately see in the sea of humanity as you start to flip your attraction and your um, how you're choosing to see people right. and how you orient your day. It really is life-changing and it's these small little choices we make every day. Yeah, so we could say to you all that we accept your humanity. We right. ac accept you, if, if you ever find yourself around us, we are definitely looking for the good in you. Right, Marie? Right. Well said. Thank you, Renee. Well, thank you. Your people can read this particular post from Renee on our website at wholesoulschoolandfoundation.org and look for more of these thought bites, these pod bites coming in short little doses that you'll be able to hear in your, if you like to listen by audio podcast, you can tune in by Spotify, Apple iTunes on your favorite streaming programs. And you can also listen in on YouTube and your favorite and Instagram. We're going to start being, having more of a presence on Instagram again, and you know, your favorite social media platforms. So I want to thank you, Renee, for joining me. I want to thank you for this precious seed that you've seeded in our consciousness and our conscious awareness this September. And as we grow forth into the new month, right? This new beginning, this new time, every day is a new day, right? Every day is a new day to see the good in people. And I want to thank everybody for joining us and we'll see you soon. Blessings, everyone.